Cash-strapped consumers are crying out for cuts to electricity prices and the Morrison government today unveiled its plan to intervene. But energy retailers say customers might not see the savings. Their electricity. Amid the election power struggle, the Morrison government says it's making a power play on electricity prices. These initiatives will ensure that Australians no longer pay a loyalty tax. The man the Prime Minister calls... The Minister for getting electricity prices down. ...flagged a ceiling price. Now he's announced details of the cap for expensive standing offers. Offers customers are automatically placed on after discounted deals expire. But it only applies to three states and has been released three months before an election. The whole issue about power is, is a vote thing. From July 1, South Australian residents could save between $169 a year and more than $200. It's around $120 for Sydney siders, $150 a year across the rest of New South Wales, and South East Queenslanders could save $115. This will help all customers. But only a fraction of customers are on standing offers and these default measures won't apply to most of Queensland and Western Australia. And the Victorian government is introducing its own cap. Labor argues the only way to cut prices is to bring back the policy that in part led to Malcolm Turnbull's downfall. Start to work on the national energy guarantee. And the Morrison government faces a challenge to force prices down. Wholesale prices for the end of 2018 were at their highest levels ever for that time of year. Power companies say they won't carry the load. The costs of the wholesale market need to be passed through to customers. And while the government's been dealing with a cost to consumers, concerns over a cost to the country have eased. This Chinese official says coal imports from Australia are being accepted into ports, denying delivery had been halted. We welcome this announcement from the Chinese government. Jonathan Kersley, Nine News.